Okay, fourth graders, today we're going to be talking about rounding, rounding whole numbers. Now, again, this is something that you have done before, but this is also a skill that I noticed that a lot of students struggle with. And so we're going to focus on a couple of different strategies that you can use to help you with rounding. Now, you may have noticed that a lot of the things that we're learning, I say we're going to look at a couple of different strategies. That's because there's not just one right way to do math. All right, there are actually quite a few ways to arrive at an answer for a math problem. And the important thing is that you pick what works best for your brain. We all think differently. And so one strategy that might work really well for me may not be your favorite. Your brain may be like, man, I don't really like that. But there might be another strategy that I'm not really a big fan of that really you really get. And again, the important thing is just making sure that we're arriving at the right answer, that we are knowing how to think about math and how to think about numbers and really understanding numbers and their value and um, just having that number sense is very helpful for moving forward in math. All right, and now rounding is something that you're going to be using a lot too because we are going to be moving into um, com computation with whole numbers, and that's where we're adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing. And it's important that we know how to round because we use rounding to help us estimate. Okay, rounding tells us about how many, and about how many is something that we use a lot. A lot of times you don't have to have an exact answer. You just need an estimated answer. And so if we are able to round, then we're able to find an estimated answer. And that helps us to do math in our head really quickly, where we may not need an exact answer that we would need to pull out a piece of paper or a calculator and, and work it that way. So rounding, again, is, is good, a good tool to help us with mental math. All right, so let's get into it. Okay, so when we round, the first key is understanding your place value. If I give you the number 42,396, and I tell you to round it to the nearest thousands place, but you don't know where the nearest thousands place is, that's going to be tricky, right? You're probably not going to be able to round 42,396 to the nearest thousands place. So this is where we go back all the way to that introduction video that um, you guys watched where you have the, the houses um, on Place Valley Street. Place Value Street. Sorry, I'm talking too fast there. Um, and you're thinking about your different place values, okay? And so you remember, I can draw my little houses around each family, and we have ones, tens, hundreds, and then here's my next family, and I have just ones and tens. Sometimes hundreds has already moved out to go to college or something like that, okay? So right here we have our ones family, here we have our thousands family, and I know that the ones place is the thousands place. So this would be my thousands, that two. Okay. So when it's telling us to round to the nearest thousands, I'm just going to write that over here to the nearest thousands. And it's going to tell you to round to all different kinds of places. But the cool thing is the strategy is the same, no matter what place value you're, you're rounding to. All right. So one strategy that we can use is an open number line. Now, if you watched our last video on comparing whole numbers, I talked about what an open, open number line is. But an open number line is a great tool to use in this situation. So because I'm rounding to the nearest thousands place, remember this number is either going to stay what it is or it's going to go up by one. That's really the only way that it changes in rounding. The thousands place is going to stay a two or it's going to go up to a three. It can't do anything else. It can't go down. It doesn't go up by more than one. All right, so it's either gonna stay a two or it's going to go up to a three. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw my open number line. I'm gonna do 42,000 because that's one option. My other option would be 43,000. Okay, that would be the nearest thousands. All right, and everything after my rounding place turns into a zero. Okay, so I'm going to try and figure out where on my number line it this is. Is it closer? Because rounding is you're finding what it's closer to. Is it closer to forty-two thousand, or is it closer to forty-three thousand? All right, so now I'm going to draw in my hundreds. I'm going to say um, this would be forty-two thousand one hundred, 
200, 300, 400, 500, I make the middle one bigger, 600, 700, 800, 900, okay? And I'm going to put this number on my number line. This is 42,396. So 42,100, 42,200, 42,300. And I know 42,096 is really close to the next 100. So my number would go about here, okay? This would be where 42,396 lives. Well, is it closer to 42,000 or is it closer to 43,000? I'm looking, here's my halfway point. Remember I said I was making my halfway point big? It's closer to 42,000. I'm not even halfway yet, all right? So 42,396 is going to round to 42,000 because that's what it's closer to, all right? That's why you round that way. You're either rounding to the, um, that's why they say round down because the number does go down, but the thousands place doesn't go down. So I've, I'm really careful with that wording. Okay, the thousands place either stays the same or it goes up. If I wanted to do another example, let's say I have um, 386,429 and I want to round this to the nearest 10 thousands. Okay, I want to round to the nearest 10 thousands place. All right, well, where is my ten thousands? Remember, I have ones, tens, hundreds, and this is my ones family. And here I have ones, tens, hundreds, and this is my thousands family. So my ten thousands is this guy right here. All right, remember, everything after the rounding place when we're rounding turns to a zero. Everything before the rounding place stays the same with one exception that we're not going to talk about or worry about right at this exact moment because it's a really rare exception and I don't want to confuse you. Okay, so this is going to stay the same. This could stay the same or it could go up by one. All right, so that means that on my open number line, okay, I have 380,000 and I have 390,000. All right, 380,000 or 390,000. Remember, I'm focusing on the rounding place, my 10,000s place. All right, now I go put my, this time I'm putting in my thousands because that's the next place down, right? So I have, this is 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000, 6,000, 7,000, 8,000, 9,000. Now you may notice I'm focusing on just two places when I'm making my number line. I'm focusing on the rounding place and I'm focusing on the place next door. These guys all turn to zeros, so I don't have to worry about them and nothing happens to this, so I don't have to worry about it. I'm only looking at my rounding place and the, the place next door, all right? That's it. Those are the only two digits that even matter when you're rounding. The rest of them could be whatever. They could be anything, okay? The, these two are the only ones that matter. All right, so now let's go back to this. We have 386,000. So this is again, 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000. Again, I made my halfway point five. Five is halfway between zero and 10. All right, bigger. And then this is 6,000 and it's 429. So it's gonna be about in here. All right, and again, it doesn't, it doesn't really matter if you get it exact. I could just stop at the 6,000. Remember I said the rest of these guys don't even matter. All right, but here's where my number lands. 386,429, well, is it closer to 380,000 or is it closer to 390,000? It's closer to 390,000, which means that if I'm rounding this up to my nearest thousands place, the answer would be 390,000. Pretty cool, right? The open number line makes rounding so easy. I feel like we get complicated and confused with all of these rules when all I really need to know is how to draw a number line and how to put a number on the number line, which is a super duper duper important skill. Okay, so let's look at one more example using our open number line. All right, this time I'm going to do um, 42,000. 500, um, 
63. All right, 42,563, and I want to round to the nearest thousand. It'll always tell you what place you want to round to. Thousand. And 10,000. Sometimes you have to round it twice. Okay, which means because I'm rounding it twice, I actually have to make two open number lines. Okay, so the first open number line I'm going to focus on is my nearest thousands place. Remember, I have my ones family. Thousand is my one thousand, which means that that's my two. Okay, so the four is going to stay the same. I have 42,000. It either stays the same or it goes up by one. 43,000. Okay. Here's my halfway point. All right, and remember I have 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900. All right, now I'm gonna put this one on. It's 42,563, so it's like here, All right? So, oh, well, actually, it's more like here, but anyway, that's okay. Again, it doesn't matter what these two digits are. I could put it right at the 500, and it would be the same thing. So 42,563 goes here. Which is it closer to? It's closer to 43,000. Now, if this were, if I'd put it right here, let's say I'd put it right at that exact spot, you might be like, well, Mrs. Long, it's equal distance either way. If it's equal distance either way, you always go up. So if it's a five, you're gonna go up. If it's at that halfway point, it automatically goes up. It's like going up a hill. It's got at the top of the hill, so it can go down the hill now. It doesn't have to keep going up the hill anymore. It can go back over to the other side, okay? So this one would round to 43,000. 43, if I'm rounding it to the nearest thousand, now let's look at it rounded to the nearest 10,000. I'm going to rewrite my number, 42,563, and I'm rounding it to the nearest 10,000. Well, again, here's my ones family, so I don't even need to worry about them right now. We have the 1,000 place, 10,000 place. So this is the place I'm looking at. There's nothing before it. So I know when I draw my open number line, I'm either going to get a four, everything else turns to a zero, or it's going to go up by one to a five everything else turns to a zero. All right, and now I'm doing my thousand, so 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000, 6,000, 7,000, 8,000, 9,000. All right, what's my thousands place? It's a two. That means that my number is gonna go somewhere around here, 42,563. Which one is it closer to? It's closer to 40,000. All right, so if I'm rounding this to the nearest thousands, I would, or sorry, 10,000s place, I would round to 40,000, all right? Now again, the open number line strategy is my favorite for rounding because I feel like we get confused and bogged down by rules. And this gives you a really great visual. And a lot of students are visual or hands-on learners. In this, you're visually putting it on and you're hands-on drawing it out. And you're really able to think and use those two strategies, that visual strategy and that hands-on strategy to help you out. And you don't have to worry about all the rules. Like, oh, I don't remember the rules. The only rule you have to, you have to be able to identify the place value you have to remember that everything after turns to a zero, and you have to remember that the only other thing that you're putting onto the number line is the thousands, because everything after it's gonna to turn to a zero anyway. All right, so this is one strategy. I am going to show you how to do rounding with the rounding rules. I'm gonna use the same number, 42,563, all right? And in this strategy, I'm actually going to use a song. All right, and you're going to have to immediately pardon my singing voice because I'm a math teacher, not a singer. All right, so here's here we go. Now, I'm going to round it to the nearest thousand. Okay, let's say that that was the direction. I'm rounding to the nearest thousand. So here's the song. When you round, you underline the place. Spotlight to the right decides the digit's fate. Okay, so remember I told you these are the only two place values that matter. You notice those are the two that I've highlighted, right? This 
number right here is the rounding place, which means it is going to be a two or it is going to go up to a three. However, it doesn't decide what it does. This does. And as you've been looking at the number line, now you can see why, right? Now you can see why, because this is what we're putting on the number line. This shows us which one it's closer to, which is why, again, I like the number line better, all right? This, this place right here shows us, but what I see students get so confused about is they're like, oh, that's a two, so it stays a two. But remember, the digit doesn't decide its own fate. It's a little pesky little brother to the right decides its fate. It decides what it gets to do, all right? And if it is, if this digit to the right, if the digit to the right is four or less, you better let it rest, meaning you keep it the same. And if it's five or more, let it soar and add one to the rounding place, okay? So this is a five or more, let it soar. So we're gonna add one to the rounding place, Remember, this just drops down. It doesn't, nothing happens to it. And then everything else becomes zeros. All right. So I'm going to show you one more example using my little songs so you can hear the songs again. And again, you can watch this video as many times as you want. But I really recommend, unless you have a good, solid understanding of rounding and you can get rounding right every single time, go with the number line. All right, the open number line is your friend when it comes to rounding. It makes rounding so much easier. And in fact, I wish that that was how I learned how to do rounding because it is so, you're like, oh, I see which one it's closer to. Why am I worrying so much about all these rules and trying to remember what place tells it to do? And aha, you know, like there's so much to remember. This right here, you're dealing with number sense. You're looking and seeing exactly which one it's closer to. That's what rounding is. Which one is it closer to? Okay, so let's look at one more example. Let's say I have 429,000. 357. And I want to round to the nearest hundred thousands place. I'm going to round to the nearest hundred thousands place. So thousands, that means I have to find my thousands family. And here's hundred. A hundred is always this one. Okay. So remember when you round, you underline the place. Spotlight to the right decides the digit's fate. Okay. I'm looking at my spotlighted number like you're shining a flashlight, a spotlight on it, okay? Is it four or less? You better let it rest. Or is it five or more? Let it soar and add one to the rounding place. Well, two is four or less because it's less than two. Four or less means four, three, two, one, zero, right? Four or the digits that are less than four. Five or more means five or the digits up to nine, five, six, seven, eight, nine, right? This is four or less. So I need to let it rest, and then everything else becomes zeros, everything else becomes zeros, all right? So that's just showing you the rounding rules. Again, I like this one better, but you may like this one better, and that's fine. Do what you can consistently do the right way. That's the key. If you're doing this because you like it better, but you always get the answer wrong, then that's not the right strategy for you, okay? If you're doing this and you're always getting the answer wrong, that's not the right strategy for you, all right? Pick the strategy that works best for you, but the rounding, the, the concept of rounding is the same no matter what the number is. Know your place value. Everything after the rounding place is gonna become a zero. Everything before the rounding place stays the same, and we're just trying to figure out which one is it closer to. That place, whatever it is, a two, or is that closer to a three? Is that closer to 2,000 or is it closer to 3,000? That's all we're trying to figure out when we're rounding, all right? So always, if you have any questions, please ask and have a great rest of your day, guys.